Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and this weekend we will be quickly playing some of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Recent release, it's surprisingly dropping on the Play Stores rather quickly, so uh, I'll start up a new game I was playing a bit. And right off the get-go I wanted to point out that it will right out tell you that you can play as Richter or Maria. Uh, two side characters if you wanted to do that, but if you name your profile anything else, you'll be playing as the main character Alucard, the son of Dracula, who is not as quite as a bad guy as he is. Journey back to 1792 and the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. Symphony of the Night is not a new game with those familiar with the Castlevania series, but is one of the best games, not only from the Castlevania series, but, eh, I don't know, I would say one of the greatest games ever made. Uh, it first released in the PS1 era and has held up uh, surprisingly well. Uh, I picked it up then, I picked it up for Xbox Live Arcade, I know it's out for a ton of other systems. And now it's out for iOS and Android, and not for an awful lot of money either. Uh, I think it was $3.99 Canadian for me. Um, if there was ever a reason to have a Bluetooth controller as well, then this would be the reason. Uh, probably the best 20 bucks you'll spend on one. And the game will see the controller outright and just say, All right, you're a controller user, let's go. So as we get into the new game here, and I start flailing away with Richter, um, trying to remember his special moves and failing, uh, you'll notice that there's no on-screen directionals or buttons because I am using a controller, and that's been sensational so far. Also got to bring up two very, very, very minor nitpicks. Uh, first, the original 4x3 aspect ratio. I understand that's the way it's been, but uh, on my widescreen phone, it's... Yeah, noticeable. Uh, also nitpick number two, well, we'll get into this first conversational and see if you can figure it out. Dracula, die now and leave this world. You'll never belong here. Oh, but this world invited me. Your own kind called me forth with praise and tribute. Tribute? You're a thief. You steal men's souls, their freedom. Freedom is always sacrificed to faith, good hunter. Or are you truly here by choice? All I'm here for is you. To hell with your heresy! You're nothing but a blight on mankind. Ha! Mankind. A cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight for them, then, and die for their sins! <laughs> So the nature of the voiceover tends to be, um, I guess, updated from the original. Um, while I do believe it is better, um, there is something to be said about the hitting the nostalgia bone and hearing Dracula ask, What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. And then exclaiming, But enough talk! But like I said, both are very minor in retrospect and um, wouldn't stop me from paying like double or even triple of what I paid for this game. It was sort of a steal from my point of view, even though the game is pretty old. Hard to believe as I look, up, look it up, but the game was released like 23 years ago. Um, 2D graphics still hold up today, uh, and they are still beautiful, uh, even on my phone screen. Also have to mention that the score and sounds and everything uh, sound related, the music is just outstanding as well. So I'll try and get through the rest of this battle and we can get into the game proper.
little bit of a tough battle, but I can make a comeback. Oh, don't die! Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you're not meant to uh, lose this battle. So Maria will come in. She'll give you a massive power boost. She'll turn on cheap mode, and then I can beat Dracula here. Yeah, and then Dracula has his own second form here, but I don't think it's going to help him very much. Impossible! Not this time! Count Dracula had risen with the aid of the Dark Priest Shaft to menace humanity once again. The legendary vampire hunter, Richter Belmont, stood against him and at last brought him down. However, four years later, on a glaring full moon night, Richter mysteriously vanished. Maria Renard set out to find him, but knew not where to begin. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the Castle of Dracula, rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces struggled for the soul of a man named Alucard. He who had once fought alongside Trevor Belmont against his own immortal father, Count Dracula himself. To purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, Alucard had submerged his vampiric powers and fallen into what was meant to be eternal slumber. But now, he awakens to the cackles of evil and cries of the innocent. The eternal battle of good and evil has come full circle once more. Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man can say who will emerge victorious. Resident Evil, I mean Castle Vania. And here's where we start our adventure, back in Dracula's castle as Alucard. To any of those who have never played Symphony of Night before, you got this massive, expansive map in front of you. And as you progress, you will gain abilities and relics that will unlock various portions. Um, this rock also seems to have a pot roast in it. You also have Alucard here who has uh, some equipment now, but you'll be finding tons and tons of other stuff uh, as you progress through the adventure. And one of the cool things about the game is that you have this almost limitless options of how you equip Alucard and what kind of weapon or fighting style he goes into combat with. Oh, our ever-present castle, candlestick holder, or torches. Yet might include valuable items for our heroes to find. One cannot simply let them pass undiscovered.
Ooh, a turkey. Well, isn't it just like death to leave us naked and afraid? Well, naked anyway. We be not afraid. In fact, I think I'll prove my manliness by punching the skeleton into oblivion. And as fun as that was, let's start using the sharp pointy objects again. Since Symphony of the Night doesn't have any automatic saving, Please feel free to rest in one of our save rooms. Each section of the castle that you visit will have its own unique theme and title, like this alchemy laboratory. Is that skeleton spitting, sweating, or ugh, something else?
I wonder if these fellows have an axe to grind with me. We'll hit up the save point. Uh, there'll be a boss battle coming up shortly, so it's nice to have these around in case things go sour. Oh, oops. Now I'm going to have to climb all the way back up. And you'll find various sub-weapons along the way, but I think we'll stick with the knife for now. Knife's a straight-on sub-weapon where the axe is sort of overhead. We'll get into our first of many boss encounters now. Uh, this room containing these two stooges. One down and now the other to go. At least with the equipment I've picked up so far, these two don't uh, pose that much of a threat. Beating a boss is always good for increasing your max health, but they also may hide or be the barrier of some ability or relic that you need to progress forward in the castle. So it's always worth your time to finish those fights off. And with that, let's take a quick look at our map. 
So that's the area that we've so far covered. And can you believe it's only 5%? <laughs> so there's still plenty to be had here. And that will end this quick play of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. If you haven't played or have been itching to replay this game, then by all means pick it up because you shan't be disappointed. If you enjoyed this quick play of Castlevania, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, because you'll never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.